Hi, welcome to AutoCAD 2020 video tutorial. The next exercise in my usual AutoCAD trainings would be 1.6, the Winkel, which means angle in German. And usually I start without using the mouse, using only the keyboard. So I want to draw a circle at zero, zero. So let's go for C, like circle. German would be K for Christ. And the center would be zero, column zero. And the radius would be 30. Then repeat the command. And the next one would be at 110, column zero, and the radius would be 20. And the last one, so repeat the command with return or enter, would be at zero column minus 85. And the radius would be 50 and confirm. Then double click on the scroll wheel and you will see your contour. Now I need another circle. So let's repeat that command which is not possible, so go for circle. And this one would be from that center, 35 away. Move over here and just click here. Now I need a line which is tangent to both those circles, so go for control right click, tangent, to this one, control right click, tangent to that one. Now I need a circle which is tangent to this circle and to that one and has a radius of 100. So let's go for tangent, tangent, radius. Click near the tangent point here, over there as well. Then move down below because the center of this circle would be somewhere down right below. And the radius would be 100. And you got that nice circle over here. I need another one of this type which goes tangent here and tangent there. So click here, click there, move right down below and that radius would be 80. And again, same circle which now goes to this one and that one here, move it right down and below and this would be 63. Now I can trim, so let's go for trim, right click to select all, make it with a cross sim selection like this, then zoom in and trim those elements, move up here, trim, trim, now trim this one, those two, those two, zoom in, trim here and there, now I can select it like this and this should be deleted so go for erase select right click and trim this one and that one and OK and the contour is finished. OK let's do the dimensions so let's switch to the not dimension layer but to the annotate tab and in this group you can set one layer for the dimensions and I used my dimensions layer. I will use the dimension command, the new one, which, which means new, it, it's available for five, four, four years already. So let's go for dimension and Let's move to that arc and you can switch 
by right clicking to diameter if you want or you could go for radius so let's click here like this over there over there and here and if you want here radius as well just right click and go for radius in order to do the li linear dimensions I need to snap to the center here right click that would be where is it center like this and right click and control right click and go to this center here then again control right click center here control right click center up there and let's go for the 40 then once more right click center here right click center over there and drag it up there and these are all my dimensions now I want to use a text and since last year that which means since autumn 2019 you can set one layer for the text you just have to use the text layer command which is available since autumn 2019 in the 2020 version of AutoCAD let's go for text layer and then you could enter the layer you want to use for text and I will use my text layer so as soon as I type a text it will be automatically put onto the text layer which is yellow in this case so let's click here confirm the height confirm the angle and this will be t equals 5 and it's in yellow two times return and the edit is finished there are similar commands for the hedge patterns and for the center lines so in order to set one layer for the center marks or center lines just type in center layer and type in the name of the layer you want to use in my case it's center lines which is cyan the color is cyan so if i do that center mark it should be in cyan which is it right for the hedge patterns you can use the HP layer command and you can set one layer which is used for the hedges automatically and I call mine hedge patterns so if I would do a hedge here it would get a magenta color so let's go for a hedge maybe this one just move here and you see with the preview I would get a magenta color but I will leave it like it is and I'm done so hope you enjoyed this one hope it was helpful if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cafe page it would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye